News media outlets have been featuring a lot of discussion around possible recessions in 2023. That raises the question, when do we know we are in a recession? The problem with answering that question is that economic data can be slow. We live in a fast paced environment where everyone wants everything and they want it yesterday. And when it comes to recessions, the problem is that it can take ages before the government officially announces we are in a recession. Recessions are defined by the National Bureau of Economic Research, and they often take six to 21 months to declare a recession after it has already happened. Surely there must be a faster way to tell when we are in a recession. After all, it doesn't take the average worker two years to feel the impact of a recession. This is where the SOM rule comes into play. The SOM rule was created by Claudia SOM, an economist and former Federal Reserve member. It is a new metric on the block developed in 2019. It's an indicator that can tell us we are actively in a recession. According to the Federal Reserve, the SOM rule identifies signals related to the start of a recession when the three-month moving average of the national unemployment rate rises by 0.5 percentage points or more relative to its low during the previous 12 months. There are a couple of benefits of this definition. First, the rule relies only on a single data series, national unemployment. This differentiates it from other recession indicators based on stat models, which may require dozens of inputs. And the unemployment metric is fairly easy to understand. Secondly, the change in unemployment from the previous 12 months means that we are looking at the recent relative trends in the labor market. If we were to rely on a fixed level of unemployment, that could not take into account different shifts caused by changes to technology, demographics, labor frictions, and so on. The graph on the screen now shows the SOM rule and the shaded areas are identified recessions by the National Bureau of Economic Research. As can be seen, the SOM rule has effectively called most recessions and not shown any false positives. The real benefit of the SOM rule is knowing much sooner than previously established methods that we are in a recession. Based on the SOM rule, we know we are in a recession within three months of it occurring based on the three month moving average. Contrast that with the National Bureau of Economic Research's official statement, which usually takes at least twice that long to declare a recession. This swift identifier allows the government to quickly respond to stabilize the economy if needed. That can also allow businesses and investors to make decisions based on the contracting business cycle with greater speed. Looking at the data in the middle of 2023, currently the SOM rule does not state that the US is in a recession or anywhere near it. While the SOM rule is becoming a great recession indicator, it does have a limitation. It is by no means a predictive metric. The rule triggers approximately three months into each of the last several recessions. That is due to the three month moving average nature of its definition. For something forward looking, you should use the long standing inverted yield curve recession indicator. Note, however, the inverted yield curve does not tell us when the recession will arrive, just that it is likely coming. Additionally, there are more advanced statistical models that can predict recession probabilities as well that might be worth looking at. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more economics and business content in the future. If you'd like to learn about the inverted yield curve as a recession predictor, I have a video about that one as well. It is on the screen now. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.